Hi, I wanted to come back on here um, and share a dream that um, the Lord gave me on September the 20th and I um, wanted to do this before I get to bed and before any other children wake up or happen to wake up. But um, I, this is a really beautiful dream and um, I've prayed a lot about it and the Holy Spirit has revealed um, some things to me which I think, um, you know, I think this will give you comfort. It has given me lots of comfort. Um, so let me just start. Um, the dream, we were in the ark, Noah's ark, and we were in the sky. We were flying through the sky. And um, I don't remember how we got there or anything like that. We were just there. And there was quite a few people. Um, the people that I specifically remember are two people from my high school from a long time ago. <laughs> it was a long time ago. And um, I'm going to say their names because it's very, the names are significant and that's the reason that they're in my dreams. Um, there are two names. One is David and one is Jacqueline. And... Um, then there were some other friends of mine on there and um, as well. But these two from high school are um, very significant in, in the reason that the Lord, I believe that the Lord put them in there. Um, but there was a lot of people there and some people were packed for a while and some people were like packed for just the night. And... Um, it was almost as though I was I was with my two girls, and it was almost as though we were walking through the ark, um, for whatever reason I don't know, but um, anyways, as we were walking through the ark, um, I remember at one point looking up and and seeing like in the vastness of the black sky, um, this amazing like lightning storm, and it was like blue and purple. And um, then all of a sudden, like out of this lightning storm came that this forest began to um, began to like just come out of nowhere in the sky. And all of a sudden, like all these um, cats, like like cheetahs, um, lions, um, like the big cats, um, they began to form as well and they started running towards us and at first we were all scared like wait like whoa <laughs> like we can't like what but they were so friendly and they were so much fun and um we all started playing with these huge like lions and cheetahs and these amazing big cats and um so anyways then um uh, let's see, there were like all kinds of miracles that were happening on this, on the ark. And it was, it was, um, it was just like a really amazing, like neat place to be. And like amazing. The whole time that we were there, um, like in this dream, like I could sense the presence of the Almighty Lord Jesus Christ so strongly. Um, he wasn't there, like he wasn't in there with us yet. And, um, but his presence was very powerful. And um, we knew, we just knew that we were safe and protected. Um, and um, I remember in the dream, there was, um, you know, we were, there was a lot of people, uh, again, as I mentioned, and um, we were telling stories um, of how each one of us, you know, had been saved um, and come to the Lord Jesus Christ in our lives and how he became our, or why, and how he became our number one and our savior. And, um, anyways, and then when we got to the end 
of the ark, I there was a door and I knew that Jesus was on the other side of the door. I could feel it so strongly. And I literally, he was just about to open the door and I woke up. This, if I didn't mention this, this I dreamt this on September the 20th of 2022. And, um, you know, there was, there was quite a few things that were happening in this dream. And the Lord really just dropped this into me within an hour and a half, because this was a time period of where my four-year-old was not sleeping very much. But, um, and so he just dropped it in there between the hours of 2.30 and 4 a.m. And I wanted to share with you all the significance um, of, obviously David is a very significant name, but in 2 Timothy 2.8, uh, remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel. And then I was told by the Holy Spirit to look up the meaning of Jacqueline. And this actually blew me away. And it took me like a little bit to like look this name up. <laughs> and uh, anyways, her name means, the name Jacqueline means Yahweh may protect. And so this was definitely confirmation that this is, that this was from the Lord. And, um, you know, I just wanted to share this with you all. Um, you know, we're supposed to, you know, comfort one another with these words during these days. And I feel like the time is so short. I feel you know, I'm not putting any dates. I'm not going to say that because he comes as a thief in the night and we're supposed to be prepared at all times. And, um, and that, you know, that's why I want to just get on here and just, you know, tell you my dream and just to, um, you know, give you two verses in particular, you know, um, one is obviously um, Matthew 25, 1 through 13. So this is um, the parable of the 10 virgins. And I believe after prayer, um, after prayer and talking to some other sisters in Christ, um, the parable of, or the people that were in the ark some that were, you know, packed for a, for a while and some that weren't packed for a while, um, some that were actually just packed for a day, I believe that signifies the foolish and the wise virgin. We, you know, I believe that this signifies the foolish, the five foolish virgins and the five wise virgins. And just in case for those of you who are unaware of this um, in the Bible, um, so then the, then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto 10 virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five of them were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps while the bridegroom tarried. They all slumbered and slept. And at midnight, there was a cry made, behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for the lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them and sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they <clears throat> that were ready went in with him to the marriage. And the, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgin, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily, I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for you know, for you know neither. Just lost my place. <laughs> um... Oh, 
let's see, for you know neither um, when the Son of Man cometh. I'm trying to like get back to that place of where I was. <laughs> but in any case, he, um, I just, I want to just say this for, you know, like, it's so imperative to be very close to the Lord right now. I don't, again, I've mentioned this before in my other video, and I'm going to make this one significantly shorter. Um, but, you know, we are to, he would rather us be cold or hot than lukewarm. Um, because, you know, how he mentions that he will spit you out of his mouth if you are lukewarm. Um, I just, he's such a loving, loving father. He's such a, like, Jesus Christ is the most amazing. <laughs> like, he has saved my life and I know he's saved so many of our lives. Um, again, when I get a chance very soon, I will tell my testimony. Um, but, um, I just, you know, now is the time to come back home, to come back to him, um, to be in repentance and to be ready. Um, I believe that there is something coming up with this, um, total lunar eclipse, blood moon that we are having on November 7th, 8th. I'm not saying that he's coming on that day. No one knows the time, no one knows the day nor the hour, and he will come as a thief in the night. All I'm saying is that right now, you need to be abiding in the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, you need to have the Holy Spirit dwelling within you. And um, this is real. Um, I Many of us have been saying this for quite a very long time, and... Um, the time is now. Um, I pray that you have ears to hear and that you have eyes to see. And I pray, um, you know, if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, you can just invite him into your heart um, now and he will, he will come to you. He will come to you and he will um, come dwell within you and he will, the Holy Spirit will dwell within you. Um, but, you know, this is all real. Like, I grew up, um, thinking that the Bible, or being taught that the Bible was written, you know, by men, like, just regular men, and that it wasn't, it was just nice stories. This is, these, this is the most alive book ever like and that will ever be and that will never die will go on forever and ever and this is the word of the lord and this is coming straight from the holy spirit and um you know these stories are real um and i'm even gonna say you know i will i'm just, i just want to say this it's interesting, I was looking at the History Channel the other day, and it is amazing. Like, I would, I would implore you to take a look at it if you're unsure of what day or hour, or what season we're in right now. Um, they're literally talking about the rapture. They're talking about aliens. They're talking about all of it. Um, so, you know... It's really happening. This is real. Um, even even ancient, like, um, I can't recall who they were, who, who they were. I think it was the Hopi, Hopi Indian tribe. And this is the things that I've learned on the History Channel. <laughs> but the Hopi, even the Hopi Indians believe that during this time on earth, they even knew about this time of great tribulation, that that spaceships would come and pick them up and take them to another planet so they would not have to um, endure the horror that was going to go on during this tri this, tri this tribulation time. Um, there's, I think, even, the, even, I believe even, like, 
the Muslims believe that they are, I don't think that they believe that they're going to be raptured, but they believe that they will be protected. Anyways, the only truth and the only truth is Jesus Christ. He is the only way to the Lord God. And um, he is the truth, the way and the life. And, you know, um, anyways, I just, that was a lot of information, but I just wanted to share this dream with you guys. And I hope that it blesses you. And I hope, um, you know, that this comforts you. And um, I do have more dreams. So as soon as I find some time, I'll get back on here. The Lord's, there's another dream that I'm going to come back on here um, and talk about um, as soon as I get some more time. Um, but in the meantime, I love you guys. And remember, he comes as the thief in the night. It's coming soon. <laughs> okay, love you guys. Bye.